We're standing here at the White House of the Confederacy, which served as the home for Confederate President Jefferson Davis for nearly four years of war. The house itself was built in 1818 and would have been a real star of the Richmond architectural scene had nothing else happened, but it did. And in August of 1861, Jefferson Davis and his family moved in here. It's so easy to look at men like Abraham Lincoln or Jefferson Davis and look at their official acts, forgetting that these were men who had wives and children and social lives, and it all played out here. Jefferson Davis and his wife Verena moved in here with their children, but then had two more during the war. One of them, little Joe Davis, died here in a fall from the balcony in 1864. So all the events of a, of a rich life played out here. But in addition to that, it served as an official gathering place, not just for receptions, but for meetings, like in 1862, the famous Council of War, where Lee bangs his fist on the table and says, Richmond not, must not be given up. It shall not be given up setting the course for all the battles around Richmond and to come. Another interesting meeting took place here, though one that Jefferson Davis did not attend, on April 4, 1865. Now that it's become the Union Army headquarters, Lincoln met here with uh, two men who came with an idea about how to bring Virginia back into the Union. Let the legislature do it. Call them together, they will immediately rescind the ordinance of secession. And then all the Virginians in the field, Robert E. Lee and his army, would be forced then to lay down their arms. And this is the only peak that we get into what Lincoln's idea of Reconstruction might have been like. He puts this plan in motion, and when he leaves the White House that day, he thinks he's done it. He thinks he's set the course for Reconstruction here in Virginia. Now, Lee's surrender and Lincoln's assassination put an end to this plan. But it is a fascinating look at how things might have gone.